previously on Dungeons and Dragons. After Duke desperately tried to figure out how to play poker, Chad and Snarf were interacting. Turns out Snarf gets seasick. Even when there's no waves. Which definitely didn't earn Bull and a bunch of money. Being the medical experts that they are, Chad and Annie shoved a bunch of dirt down his throat. Meanwhile, Bullen briefly asked Felix about the mystery chest that our heroes have been ignoring for over three years before going back to ignoring it again. The days went on without incident and were making their deliveries without raising suspicion. During the journey, our heroes were all doing their own things. Bullen one day noticed that Bryn was looking a little down. He arranged so he could have the occasional crow's nest duty and he was much happier. Duke figured out that he doesn't need magnets because Charlie can just hold the knife in his beak. He then moved on to trying to learn how to talk to spiders. Very successfully I might add. Haku had taken up drawing and was creating a series of masterpieces. And Chad was giving bubble therapy which I'm sure is working wonderfully. Owen Haku apparently is a sea otter that's made of lemons. Our heroes eventually found themselves at Baxwell Island. Our heroes decided to stay away from where people would be and decided to get on the island from over here. The plan was to head to the beach here. There was however one small problem. A certain someone beefed their weather a roll and suddenly a hurricane was coming through. Our heroes decided that a little hurricane would never hurt anyone as Chad and Haku Swine dived into the ocean. Boland and Duke on the other hand decided to dimension door over. It sure would be a shame if wild magic activated. Wouldn't it? <laughs>